Hi Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a very important CCNP route and T-shoot video boot camp for you today. And we're going to be using one of my favorite and least favorite commands of all time, the Area Range Command in OSPF. The reason it's a favorite of mine is that, you know, I'm one of these warp people who actually enjoys uh, route summarization. And once you have your binary skills down, which I'm sure you do, it's actually very straightforward. But the key with the Area Range Command is that literally there are five gotchas that you've got to be aware of with this simple one-line command. And we're going to be right back on the live equipment in just a moment. We're going to do a little bit of route summarization, so you might want to grab something to write with. But also, once the lab work here is completed, please stick around because I have all five of those gotchas listed for you here on the whiteboard, and they are definitely worth your time. So let's go ahead and head back to the live equipment. And as you can see, we've got a very simple configuration here, and we're only going to be going back and forth between routers one and two here. Router one has a couple of loopbacks, five actually, but it's these four that we're concerned with. Router 1 has an adjacency with routers 2 and 3 through area 0, but on router 1, I have put these routes in area 1. So when I go down to router 2, what exact routing table code should I expect to see for those four routes? I'm going to see OIA, meaning OSPF, and their enter area, they are in another area. And those are in the rounding table, of course, IA, OSPF, enter area, just means they're in another area. So, you know, nothing wrong with this, but anytime you see sequential numbering here, 12, 13, 14, 15, it's like, hmm, I think I could do a little route summarization there. So that's what we're going to do. Now, with RIP version 2 and EIGRP, we perform route summarization at the interface level. And of course, this is one of the challenges for our exam is not just knowing how to summarize the routes. That's only part of the battle. The other part of the battle is we have to know where to configure it. Now with OSPF, we've got a couple of different commands we can use for route summarization. But since we're on an area border router right now and we're advertising routes from one area to another and the summarization happens in the middle of that, then we are going to use the area range command. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And we start with the word area. Now if you go with the area range command like this and you type some other stuff after and you hit enter, you're going to see that dreaded caret pointing right at that R. The reason is that a number comes between the words area and range. We say area range command so often that it's easy to forget that part. So let's use area and then iOS help. And it says that we can enter it as a decimal or an IP address format if you want to get cute about it. But you'll also notice it doesn't say what area you should enter there. Now area 1 contains the routes that are to be summarized and we're summarizing them and advertising that summary into area zero. So which area should we put or pick on a multiple choice exam question? We would put the number of the area containing the routes to be summarized. Very important detail there because when, when I started learning, I would think, well, you know, you put the number of the area that the summary is being sent to. No, you actually put the number that contains the routes to be summarized. Then we're going to put the range word. Now IP address to match. You can get different, slightly different readouts in your iOS at this point. What you're putting here is your summary address. So what is our summary address then for that 12, 13, 14, and 15 networks that were all slash 8? We're going to start that with 12. And here's another little gotcha I want you to watch. It's really easy to think you put a wildcard mask here. Because with OSPF, you're always putting wildcard masks on stuff, right? Network command. So uh, you're not going to do that here, though. You're going to put a network mask on it. And in this case, that's going to be 252.000. And that's really it. We've got some advanced options here for the area range command, but we're not going to use those here. We see the CR, so we know this is the legal command the way it stands. So we hit enter. 
Now, the good news is, is that we don't lose our adjacencies or anything like that. In my last couple of videos, I have been talking about some commands that will actually make you lose that. But let's go over to Router 2 and now run Show IP Route. Actually, we'll run Show IP Route OSPF. Now, notice that there is one route instead of the four. So that's fantastic, right? That's what route summarization is all about. You are not going to lose your adjacencies, anything like that, when you use the area range command. And you'll notice that now instead of the four individual routes, we have that one summary route. Let's go back up to router one, though, and run show IP route. And we, we see a different route here, don't we? Because we still have the, sum, the routes that were being summarized, of course. They're all directly connected. But look at the summary down here. This is to be expected on the router that's performing the summarization. Because what this is, it's basically for routing loop prevention. It's for null zero. Because let's say that you wrote that summary, but you were only using the networks 12, 13, and 14. Well, if something came in destined for that network 15, 0, 0, it would match the summary but it wouldn't have a destination if it didn't exist, right? But it would still be in the summary. So what this is, frankly, is just for routing loop prevention. So let's go ahead and take a look at that whiteboard. That's the area range command. And let's see if we missed anything there. Uh, again, for the area range command, we're going to use it on ABRs. And I wanted to point out to you, there was something there I wanted to point out to you. Notice that even the iOS mentioned that for the range command, summarize routes, matching address, mask, border routers only. So again, you're going to use that on an ABR only. You use that on an ABR when you're summarizing routes in one area and the summary is going to another. That number in area range, can't stress this enough, T-Shoot fans, it's the area number that contains the routes to be summarized. The summarizing router will then contain a route to null zero for routing loop prevention. Just a couple more things here. The area range command does not use a wildcard mask. And another reminder, the word range does not immediately follow the word area. It's area number range. Whew, that's a lot for one command, but it's well worth it. I will have some more videos for OSPF summarization soon on the YouTube channel. I hope you'll come out and see me on Twitter and on Facebook and our blog as well. Thanks for making TBA part of your CCNP success story. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for watching.